Please welcome from the Youth Engagement Fund, Austin Thompson. Good afternoon. It is an honor to be here before you today. As a 28-year-old activist who's been part of social movements today, and a tax-paying citizen who hopes that we will choose diplomacy with Iran rather than war. In 1965, someone who is a most courageous human being, Stoughton Lynn, catapulted himself in the middle of the struggle for peace in Vietnam. After speaking against the war at Carnegie Hall, SDS asked him to chair and give the keynote speech at the very demonstration we're commemorating here this weekend. That summer, Lynn helped organize the Assembly of Unrepresented People to declare peace with the people of Vietnam. He refused to pay his taxes and openly advocated nonviolent civil disobedience by those who refused draft induction. Then, he and 350 others were summarily arrested in front of the U.S. Capitol for attempting to read a declaration of peace to Congress. In December 1965, historian Albert Aptiker, Tom Hayden, and Stoughton Lynn flew to Hanoi in defiance of U.S. travel regulations and without American passports. They returned in early January and wrote a book appealing to Americans to look at the war through Vietnamese eyes. The trip in the book cost Lynn his job at Yale University, courage. Stoughton and Alice Lynn, his wife and partner in all these things, proved themselves tireless organizers against the war and for civil rights, designing the Mississippi Freedom Schools in 1964, and later labor and prisoner rights, the legacy of which we continue today in the streets as we declare Black Lives Matter. Stoughton Lynn comes from the radical pacifist strain of the peace movement. They were action-oriented, civil disobedience, putting your body on the line, filling the streets, and they were non-exclusionary. Everybody in, nobody out. The most influential were A.J. Musty, Dave Dellinger, and Stoughton Lynn. They spent a ridiculous amount of time in meetings, building consensus, repairing coalitions of highly fractious groups. But the radical pacifists had large reserves of patience and physical stamina, and often magically produced unity out of thin air. That's courage. Please join me in saying thank you to Stoughton Lynn.